Hello, in this tutorial I will show how to create a very simple example using Node-RED and Modbus TCP IP. So first I will start by adding a Modbus server here in the flow. This node will emulate, if I double click on it, it will emulate on this port a Modbus application, but Usually the most common port is this one, so I will leave this one instead. And also we will need to listen to what is in the outputs of the server in case if something goes wrong, this will be very useful. And an inject node, so in this case the injection would be simply an empty string and that we can trigger whenever we want. So I will go ahead and deploy this to show you how it works. So basically this server is active right now and it's showing uh, wait uh, last one. All right so uh, I think something just it's not working right now. Or, all right, so it seems like there's something wrong with the configuration I'm using. So I guess is that I can't use this port. It's probably blocked on my computer for some reason. So I will need to go and edit this flow, but I can use this interface because Node-RED is down right now. So. The best way to do it is go to the terminal and here you can see there is the flow files are located in this um, folder so I will go directly to this folder and try to edit this JSON file so if I open my finder and you choose go go to folder I can paste that here and so it seems like I have two J JSON that this one is flows this I think so according to this is the one okay it's this one so I will open here so uh, as you can see it's kind of difficult to find or to understand this JSON file so first what I can do is try to format the document so we'll see it more clearly. I see that the problem is here. I put the server port as 502, which should be as originally 10502. You can also search if you know what's the problem, you can simply go and search where you put this and this. Yeah. In this case it's only here where I need to to I did this and I will save this document. So I will go back and try to start now right again. Okay. So yeah, it seems like it's working now. So yeah, for some reason it is by default not using 502. So yeah, okay. So let's use it with this default port and so yeah I will deploy again so what I was going to show is that if I click here and inject I could see uh, a bunch of zeros which are the values of all these addresses of Modbus Modbus I think it supports a lot of I don't know how many ports are supposed probably 80,000 so yeah, with this uh, with this listener here, I could simply read all all the registers that are on this server. But what are we going to do is just to listen to in a specific um, specific address, and that will be using the reader. So here you can see there are um, two readers. This one is called Modbus Getter and Modbus Flex Getter. I will strongly recommend to use the flex getter 
the main difference as you can see I mean I can show them that to you is that the getter um, it's simpler because you can usually usually you will only need this and complete this part to get to read a specific register but it's kind of slow when something it crash so a uh, crashes so what I suggest is to use this flex getter which in fact will require you to um, use of obviously an injection node with a function node with the metadata that you will in the other in the other node you will you will need to use this but we will use this so we have better control to to read what we have here and also I will also add this to read the, what is in the output of what we're reading you can always use of course you could also use uh, regular listener but in this case this listener that comes within this package is more suitable so you, you will need to won't need to read this JSON and which is kind of cumbersome sometimes so basically if you click in here and you go into the info you will see there are some examples of what kind of um, string you need to pass so in this case what we want is to read multiple inputs from from a specific address so I will copy this and I will go ahead and paste it here um, so um, actually we don't need to pass a value when we want to read in this case we only need to pass the function code which is the first parameter the unit ID address quantity so uh, okay I recommend you to put semicolons here it's safer so this is what we want to read we want to use this function code which is number three you can read here why we why why it's not here but you can read why we are using function code three and any modules doc document and in this case we we will need to read only four values of register so I will click down here so here is where you can read these are the function calls are only four so we need to read uh, register so we will use three and uh, that's all we need now so if we click deploy um, okay there are some problems here so yeah I think yeah we need to connect this node that we are reading to this server because this node can read any address of TCP IP so what we will do is just go ahead and add a Modbus client and this will be uh, the one we created which is in this address it's a uh, local host you can leave that or or write local host which is well, more suitable for human reading so now that we are done on this we will deploy that and see if I if I use this timestamp I can I can see I could read four registers which right now are set on zero because there's nothing on it but at least we can now read uh, these four modules addresses using this which is in fact using this server so next um, let me just I will I always like to put this as a string so I don't get confused for what I'm passing also it's also a good practice in this case to write in the name of the um, of the node which function code I'm using which address I'm reading and it's what's the length of the vector that I'm reading right now so it's this is a vector of four so I will put here four and that's 
uh, kind of mm, easier to read from the outside of the node that the, we are reading four values from here. Also this one, it's even better if I just simply write the board that I'm, the TC, TCP board that I'm reading. So I can see from the outside what board I'm reading here. And this is just for reading purposes. So now I will to to write in, in some registers there's also um, there's also not called models write and also models flex write in this case uh, like the same like this one I also recommend to use the flex one which requires to use a function but it's more versatile and so yeah we'll simply go ahead and copy this and put it here so now what we want is to inject some values in this address so I will need to change this I, I can read here the documentation of, of this node will tell me we have an example of how can I write multiple values so in this case it will I will copy this and no I don't think I need it so basically what the only thing I need to, to add is this value in this case unlike the other I need to pass a value because in this case I'm not reading I'm writing so I will pass this value and um, I will like only to pass two values but make sure that this value is an integer right now as we have it we are just passing a string so this should be a number and we can simply put one two three to test it so the same than in the other one I could say okay I'm I'm writing to this server to this port so I can read from the outside that this is the same as this go ahead and deploy and just wait a couple of seconds okay so this is now active I can read these values and uh, now I will ingest this into that um, into that register but I can't see that so in this case I'm passing one two three which is here okay and I'm putting that on the other zero which is okay it's right it's correct oh wait but we're we're passing a quantity of two values so we need to pass a vector and not uh, an integer so in this case there is there is a nice node that we can use which is called uh, join yes join this node essentially will um, create an array in this case we need to read this and create an array of two and then send them here so, so oh but there's also another thing okay let's see what happens if I deploy this and I read and I try to write I still can't see that here I should see this way if I send it twice yeah I, I can't see this here so I think the problem is that uh, yes the function code to read and function code to write are different so I will need to use a function code 16 to preset a value so yeah so let me just put this here I will also need to put this 2 because I'm only writing 2 here this is just an aid for us to see what we have inside so yeah let's put 16 the same address the same unit ID and then 
have to test it now. So if I inject one and two, then one, two. And I still can see that, so let me check this is an array. Oh yeah, but I need to specify that the array's length is two, so let's try that again. So one, two, so yeah, now we just send something here. And if we try to read it, yeah, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. We can read it, actually, we are writing here. We can, for example, make an offset of the address and say, okay, I want to put this, but starting with the address number one. So if I deploy this and I read, I still have the last value. But if I inject both of this and read, I will see I have just created this into the next two. So this is actually working now, but probably you might be interested in seeing this greeting constantly. So for that reason, I will, instead of inputting just one to three, I will um, input a random number, random, random number. Okay, so I will need to install first uh, node for random so that's that can be done here on the palette if I look for random I can see no I have to search here random so as you can see there are many the one that I want to use is this one so I could click here to install but if it fails the best way to do that is using the console. So I, I will sh I will show you how to use the console to install uh, nodes in case this interface interface crashes. So first of all, you need to copy this name. You will need it. So and you will need to stop node node red for a second. So after stopping node red, well, you have to make sure you go to the folder where your package uh, let's do that here npm install it will be this npm install in the name of the node so you can do that and you will see that's right so the problem right now is I don't have permissions to write here so this thing is saying uh, Try running with sudo. It means try running with sudo it means try the same thing, but put sudo at the beginning. You will ask for your password, so put your password here. And yeah, you will see that working. But so you, it seems now that there was one error here. Because this one, is, this thing is looking for this package on this directory, which is not exactly where it is. If we go up, and you can see the um, the directory for Node-RED is this one. So I will copy this, and I will go back here, um, paste this thing. No. With this, so I'm, I will need to be in this directory and then try it again to install the random node. So it seems like it's working now. Or wait, uh, do I do the work in one package? Yeah, it seems like it's working now. So if I do not great again, I will be able to see that package on the on my interface. So let's go back here. And I should 
be able to see random yeah there I just installed this so what I want to do now is put this here and um, I can now create a number that it could be from 0 to I think the maximum for modulus is 2 to the power of 16 which is this value um, but because uh, make sure you remove this comma and you have to put one less because you're, we're starting from 0 so after this is done um, I will also make this we, we don't need this one to three anymore I will make this interval to run every one second every second and to read this also with an interval of one second so if I deploy this I should be able to see yeah this value is now changing every second because it's being created randomly so yeah that's pretty much it this is the example um, you can stop the video now if you don't want to see how I do some embellishments but yeah I always uh, recommend to make things uh, a little bit pretty and add some comments if you if you can so you or someone else can read that and be sure that I, for example I can say yeah in here I'm writing a vector of length 2 at um, let's say this is at address 1 and um, so and this part of the flow we are reading read vector length for at address zero. So we have that we can always align this to make more, more pretty. This here we can also state that this is modulus dcp slash ip master so um, well this is pretty much it and uh, in the comments I will put a link to the code if you want to download this and stay tuned because I will make another example where we can read not not an emulated modulus but a real modulus with real values uh, uh, these days thank you very much